What's going on guys? Hit boss here with an apology video for why I haven't made a um, material tutorial quite yet. And the answer is because this is how many times I've attempted it. And well, these little quick ones were not, but these two up here I did the full tutorial and came back and the audio was working like right in the beginning and then just cut out this one the audio didn't work throughout the entire thing so I've been getting kind of pissed at Shadowplay um, it, the funny thing is is um, when it finally fixed it um, this has always told me to log in and I never dicked with anything I'd never cared I finally went ahead and registered and logged in because I was going to maybe go online and file a report or something that my sound keeps freaking out as soon as I did that it started working so it's like dude I wonder if they actually made it so that it would be broken unless you did that so they could force subscribers like the most epic dick move ever but just totally masked you know by glitch that would be funny um, anyways uh, I was trying to tell you guys what the linear interpolate node was like over and over and over again and the first video was actually perfect the second one started to become a little bit too long and this one's gonna be uh, too short because all I'm going to tell you guys is that it's a masking system um, and it's essentially exactly the same thing as Photoshop's masks here okay like the way I'm masking the green R and then the red with the gradient okay that's a gradient mask this has an R mask and then below that's white right if I hide that it's transparency you know uh, it's exactly the same thing here um, what it is is the B is the top layer, the A is the bottom layer, and the alpha channel is this little thumbnail, which in fact is another channel that's added on here. You can see if you ever highlight something with a mask. See, this is layer 2, and we see layer 2 mask. If we come here, this is layer 1, and we see layer 1 mask. They're separate channels that are generated. Um, that's what this is here. <clears throat> so for instance, if I take it and I use the R here for the final lerp, uh, you can see what I've done there. It's actually the anti-aliasing and um, compression that's causing the outline of that red to show up. And it, yeah, it's actually the an it's it's the anti-aliasing on the edge of it that is becoming now visible. Okay, so lerp is really just simply a mask with B over A and the alpha channel like I said I'm panning this okay so this has a panning speed but basically I have green let me let me get rid of all this other stuff just to help out okay so I have green over red okay so I see green in front of red and the alpha channel is this red channel which if I just prove to you guys here really quick that the red channel on this guy is just a white R on a black background so anything white pixels will show the top layer anything black pixels will not show the top layer so essentially revealing the bottom layer and that's that's it that's that's linear interpolate in a nutshell um, the one thing I was explaining is that you can lerp again and again and again and again in any combination that you want so let's say for instance let's say for instance that I want blue to be on top of all of this based on the R as well but I don't want this R to pan so you can see how you could layer this over and over and over again right then I could do orange on top of that that or the, the R pans slower you know and then I do orange on top of that the pans even slower so it looks like I have three layers of something right that's what you can do um, and that's lerp so hopefully that's enough. Uh, if it's not, let me know, and I'll, I'll make a real video. I think I have fixed shadow play, um, at least for the most part. Uh, if not, I mean, I'm just going to continue to get all buttered about it, I suppose. So this is Hip Hop signing off. Thanks for watching.